Hello guys, welcome back to my dream build video. Uh, as promised in my last uh, video, uh, today we're gonna be discussing about uh, uh, weights. Uh, and we're gonna weight the, the parts that the bike came with. Um, uh, we are discussing about an Epic Evo uh, base model 2023 in size M for those who haven't watched my previous uh, video um, the frame weight with the rear shock the derailleur hanger and with the headset weights in um, 2230 grams or about 491 pounds and uh, Let's go, let's get started. So, uh, the part that I'm changing, uh, we're gonna start with uh, the um, rear derailleur. So, the bike came, uh, came with the NX derailleur, so which has 353 grams. I will be swapping this derailleur with a GX derailleur. 98 so it has minus 55 okay then uh, I will be replacing also the uh, dropper post the bike comes with the trans X dropper this one and So five five nine minus, and I will be swapping with the um, KS Live Carbon in the same size, so nothing changed here. Let's see if also with their carbon uh, lever minus. Four, four, six, seven. We have here minus ninety two, ninety two grams. Then we're gonna be swapping also the um, cranks. It comes uh, in stock with X X one. So we have this and this one. It's our 787, 787 minus. We'll be swapping them, I'll be swapping them with the um, E13, the carbon ones that comes in three seven one four sixteen, but um, I'll have to add um, 60 grams for the chain chain ring, so minus 416 plus 60 grams. I don't have the chain the chain ring now. Um, the fact is I didn't know that, but um, the E13 um, cranks comes. Uh, they use an oversized. Uh, spindle and you need to uh, get a special chain ring for them and also I will be swapping out the the bottom bracket because uh, the one from that came with the bike from SRAM doesn't match it it has 29 millimeters uh, while these are uh, 30 uh, millimeters in diameter so if you didn't know this is this is uh, something that you should take in consideration. Okay. Next, uh, I will be uh, taking out because the, the bike will be uh, tubeless. I will be taking out the inner tubes. Okay, so for two inner tubes. Minus 403. 
but um, because it's it's going to be tubeless i will be putting a uh, mac of liquid in, in the um, tires so uh, roughly 80 grams per, per wheel so we'll add here another 160 okay uh, next in line let's see what was the next part that i will be swapping um, the brakes uh, so um, the the bike comes with uh, 180 uh, mil disc rotor brakes uh, with SRAM level T I will be waiting only the front brake because the back brake is with 50, uh, 15 grams uh, heavier so we have here 36 362 times 2 plus 15 we have seven, uh, 739 grams for both brakes and I will be swapping them with my trusty uh, Shimano XT the same diameter 180 and this is uh, the same fr uh, front brake with uh, the entire hose so nothing cut and we have um, 285 plus 285 equals plus 15 grams so we have 585 and initially 539 minus uh, 585 uh, so we have minus 154 For the brakes um, then for the disc this was a surprise for me um, these are the stock uh, discs let me put a box here and put it to zero okay so they are 320 grams hope hopefully you'll see this so 320 grams and I will be swapping them with uh, the uh, Shimano disc discs. Let me put both here. These are the Shimano disc. Two ninety five. So we have here uh, three twenty minus two ninety five. So we have here minus twenty five grams which was unexpected for me then let's put this away and also let me take this now um, I will be swapping also the um, um, tires uh, because the uh, tires that it comes with they are the ground control 2.35 uh, which are very very beefier I'll be keeping these tires for uh, bike park days and uh, I'll be swapping them with uh, uh, a fast track 2.35 as works so one has one uh, 885 so 885 uh, minus um, on fast track tire has around 60 grams so I'll put 60 uh, 600 grams so I have here minus two eight five uh, and this is gonna is going to be for the both tires Minus two eight five. Eight five. Okay. Uh, next one. Um, I'm gonna be swapping the grips. Um, this I don't think they are much heavier, but uh, I prefer the feel of the SE grips, which are um, squeezier, let's say. Uh, and this comes in eighty eight grams. Minus.
58. So we have here 30 grams. Okay. Um, another part that, that I, I will be swapping is the cassette. So the, the standard cassette, it's an NX or SX, I'm not sure which one it is. And it, it is weighing uh, 620 grams. And I will be swapping with uh, with the Helix cassette from E13 as well, which comes in 385. Minus 385, so it's minus 235. I'll not be uh, weighting uh, uh, every gram because the target of the bike is not to to be very very uh, let's say uh, light, but. Uh, not reliable so uh, it, it will gonna be built to be reliable okay uh, the next part that I will be swapping uh, is the fork so let me uh, place this uh, again here to zero uh, the, the fork that the bike came with is the Reba 120 millimeters and it weighs around let me see if I can place it here 171 so 701 um, okay and I will be swapping this uh, fork with the, the seed model uh, doesn't have the sear tube cut, so it's new. So it has, let me just take off also the maxel. Five twenty six with the star knot here, so minus one five two six. So 175 grams, uh, probably after I will cut it, it will have around 200 grams. Uh, it will be with 200 grams lighter, but I'll be putting here minus 175. Okay. I'll be adding also the, let me, yeah. The mud guard, which has 30 grams, so I'll put it I will not be using this all the time, but let's wait this as well. Okay, um, what I will be swapping next, next, uh, the wheels, let me just Take this here to put the wheels. Uh, so the wheels are the Roval ones, and it these wheels have twenty five internal millimeters in diameter. Let me see if I can move this so you can see the weight. If not, I'm gonna tell you the weight. So the front wheel has. 931 grams let's add also the back wheel okay so we have here let me just take this so we have uh, let me just move this a little bit so you can see it 2024 so 2024 grams 
and I will be swapping these wheels with a custom one. Uh, let me just put them aside and show you the custom ones. Uh, these are the the wheels, the custom ones. It this comes with tune limited edition in purple. So let me place here the front wheel, and I'll be putting here the back wheel. So these, these wheels are. Uh, one two eight one grams. I'll be reviewing them uh, soon. They are custom made by my friends at uh, Cycle Master. So minus one two eight one. This is the weight with the um, uh, tubeless tape already installed. So we have here seven forty three grams. Let's take them from here. These wheels have 28 or 29 internal diameter. So we have here minus seven, four, three. Okay. Now, um, let me. Uh, put a wheel back because I want to I will be uh, inserting also uh, tire inserts and uh, I, will, I will be using inserts from Pepe's and these are in the uh, size large and let me just try to place them here over the wheels let's see if you can see it these have uh, take this off put it zero so these two inserts have 242 grams so plus 242 Okay, so this, these are the parts that I will be swapping in the in the fir first place. Um, I will later be swapping also the handlebar and the stem and the saddle as well. Um, the let me just try to place this here. Put it to zero. I will be swapping these parts the handle bar and the stem and the um, saddle after I'm gonna be riding uh, this uh, this bike to see exactly what size what size um, I like the the handle bar. In my previous epic, I I was using 720 millimeters bars and. Uh, uh, 14 40 uh, millimeter stem but uh, as a surprise this uh, handlebar from specialized is quite heavy I didn't expect that it has uh, 337 grams um, I have already a handlebar in my mind it will be a flat one most probably 740 which has around 105 grams it's a, um, a lighter one so let me just put this here um, 237 minus let's say 110 so i'll be placing here an asterisk 227 okay and let's put also the stem which has uh, 60 millimeters yeah 60 millimeters i'll be i'll be checking this to see if 
it's my size if it's my size i will be living on the bike if it's not my size i will be swapping for a shorter or a longer one but this one has 160 grams and i uh, uh, seen online one steel aluminum from newman which has 80 grams 84 grams for uh, the same length so yeah if you want to change it you will going to gain 32 grams let's put this here and also the stock saddle is a power saddle uh, the previous uh, saddle from specialized was uh, a really good saddle for me uh, this is a little bit different uh, i will be testing this to see if i like this saddle or not um, for those who already change or want to change this to another uh, brand this uh, uh, saddle has 266 grams so if you want to put a lighter one or i don't know a better one you can gain some widths also from here but yeah this is not uh, something that i want to change it if uh, it's going to be okay because i, I will not trade comfort for uh, a few grams okay so let me just uh, see if with these changes that i'm having here uh, if this is going to go under uh, 10 kilograms the bike comes in 12.76 grams as stock uh, kilograms sorry uh, as stock um, so yeah let's let's calculate this so we have um, 55 minus so 55 plus 92 plus So the, to the total weight that I'm going to save is uh, 2 kilograms, 400 grams. So 2, 4, 0, 3. So we have 1, 2, 6, 0, minus 2, 4, 0, 3. So uh, the bike should have 10.3 uh, kilograms. 10. 35 kilograms but as i've told you uh, i will be gaining uh, some uh, weight also from here so most probably i will be reaching 10 kilograms okay guys so this was the video uh, these days i will um, assemble the bike right now is disassembled i will assemble the bike and um, i will put a short update with the bike assembled and with the final uh, final weight with all the uh, uh, hoses trimmed all the cables trimmed and everything installed as i wanted okay see you next video guys thank you bye